Welcome to short highlights of the Santos Tour Down Under, the return Tour Down Under after a two-year absence due to the pandemic. My name's Jez Cox. This were the highlights of the prologue in Adelaide, the first ever prologue of the Santos Tour Down Under, and all focused on the central business district and the Torrens River, without which the 5.5 kilometre course made its way along the north bank initially, back along the south bank, and back onto a very narrow, and should I say, slightly slippery cycle path to bring them to the finish on the edge of the river. Alberto Betiol was one of the very early starters. He was off fourth after the start and in the dry conditions, but it was as his um, opening prologue started, the rain just began to trickle down. It was just starting as Betiol posted an incredible time of 6.19, six minutes and 19 seconds. Then the heavens really, really opened and uh, the roads started to become particularly wet and treacherous. This particular corner just before the dive under the underpass to get to the finish line, catching out multiple riders. In fact, some of them one after the other. The uh, defending Giro d'Italia champion Jai Hindley, the Australian, was one of the next of the big favourites to go, but having to be particularly careful through those corners. By the time Jai Hindley had finished, you could see it was starting to dry out. Garrett Thomas, of course, Tour de France champion from 2018, making his way to the line with a safe ride just outside seven minutes in total for the Ineos Grenadier. Michael Matthews was one of the big favourites today. He's shown he's in great form at the Australian National Road Race Championships already. Such a multi-talented rider, a great time trialist as well as sprinter, and as we saw at the Tour de France last year, a great climber too. As he came towards the line, he looked like he'd made the best of what was very, very wet conditions. But unfortunately, it would go on to dry out that little bit later on. The next of the slightly surprise rides for some was Magna Sheffield, the American posting an incredible time, getting close to Alberto Betiol and just eight seconds off Betiol's leading time. A brilliant ride by the 20-year-old American for Ineos Grenadiers. Jay Vine was a rider that lots of people were looking forward to seeing. He was the victor of the Australian Time Trial Championships just a week or so ago and he was off on course as well. Cameras focused very much on Vine. In his new colours of the UAE Team Emirates, sprinting to the line, he posted an excellent time of just over 6 minutes 33 seconds. And then the Dane, Julius Johansson, riding for Ontemarche Circus Wanty, having made his way to that team, posted a brilliant time, which would be good enough in the end to take the Dane to third place in the prologue. Ontemarche have got themselves a real talent there. Then we had a glut of very fast finishing sprinters as well. Caden Groves already showing great legs in the Criterium in Adelaide at the weekend, showing he could also turn that into a very fine prologue. Caden Groves, the Australian here, would go on to finish in fourth place in the prologue. Ethan Hayter was one of the big favourites for today, the British time trial champion, but it did seem like he was having to be a little bit careful around those wet turns as the rain was just starting to increase it again at the back end of the race. And Hayter, one of those who was just having to back off a little bit more as he came to the line and crossed the line, as you can see. Not overly pleased with how much he'd had to hold back. But he does have a very strong Ineos Grenadiers team. And in the end, his time, of course, being better by Magnus Sheffield, who was unanimous in his congratulations of Alberto Betiol, who won the prologue and will become the first wearer of the ochre jersey, the leader's jersey of the Santos Tour Down Under, going into stage one in Tanunda tomorrow in Barossa region. Betiol with a very fine prologue ride and a great opportunity for him and his EF Education Easy Post team to defend that ochre leader's jersey tomorrow. There he was on the podium in the, uh, the evening light of Adelaide. The rain had stopped by this point pulling the jersey on and set for what should be quite a nice warm and sunny week. Do join us for the rest of the Santos Tour Down Under and don't forget you can catch live or on-demand coverage of each stage on GCN Plus on Eurosport, although some territory restrictions do apply. Join us for the week.